Interesting. Narrative. Hey, Robert. How are you? I was away for a few days on an urgent job out of state. I'm good. It's nice to see you again. Here's the mail. Thanks. And likewise. Hmm. Priority mail from Town Hall. Let's see what they have to say this time. Dear Mr. Harris, on behalf of yada yada yada, concerning Environmental Management Act 1213, yada yada yada. Wait, what? <laughs> Listen to this. We have decided to postpone the construction of apartments for at least six months. We hope this satisfies you as well as the many residents of Providence Oaks that contacted us with their unfiltered and enthusiastic comments. It worked. The plan worked. Wow, great. So happy for you, Robert. We need to celebrate this. Uh, how about tomorrow night? Steak dinner at Moe's or Something else, on me. Ah, oh, I'd love that. Great, it's gonna be fun. See you tomorrow night then. Gotta go now, the telephone troops need to know the assault can be abandoned. Thank you. 
Here's your mail. Ah, the waxworms have arrived. Excuse me? I meant the package, Miss Weiss. It's my worms. For fishing. They're just in time. I'm taking a boat to the island this afternoon. Oh, nice. A boat trip. Hey, you can tag along if you want, like your father used to. But I'm not helping you with any waxworms. Oh, really? Sounds like fun. Okay, we'll show up here at 4 p.m. sharp.
So, is this a quiet day or does it always take this long? Fishing requires patience. We've only been here for two hours. And that's the nice thing about fishing. Yeah, there's a fine line between boredom and relaxation. I find it hard to relax sometimes. Fishing also requires silence. Bert, can I ask you a question? <sighs> Do you like Maureen? <sighs> we ought to be heading back home. It's been a fine day, and I thank you for the company. Hmm. Kay's tape. Let's have a listen. Shine today. The contracts for the Added 87 deal? Oh, yes. You are now talking to Steve Mitchell, CEO of a multi million dollar enterprise. But before I continue my insufferable bragging, I have a thing or two to say to you about you. You've been a huge part of the success of this company, and I feel this is just the beginning. We're entering the golden age of personal computers, and we've got front row tickets. The past two weeks have made me realize that I couldn't have done it without you, and I'm going to need you even more in the coming years. So here's a new monster deal I want you to think about. Become a partner in the company for 20% of the shares and a significant pay raise. Significant. The only condition is that I need your commitment for the next five years. So, there it is. Think about it, and let's talk about it more when you're back in the office. Oh! Wow, Steve! That sounds great! Just let it sink in a bit. I don't need an answer right now. I have to get back to my, uh, million-dollar lifestyle. Actually, no, I, I need to get cranking on lots of stuff. Talk soon, Meredith. Good evening, feline friends. Aunt Meredith's going to keep you company tonight. Meh. Come here. Kitty, kitty. Ow. A postcard from Angie. Miss Meredith, I am so, so sorry I haven't been able to see you. It's just that I've been swamped organizing my not-so-timely exit from Providence Oaks. I'm sure you understand. You've probably seen the foreclosure notice. That certainly helped expedite my decision to leave. Anyway, I'll be honest. I'm still thinking about that kiss we shared in the car. And I don't usually dwell on these kind of things. So, feel special, Meredith. I hear you're going to the open mic night on Sunday. I wasn't planning on going, but I want to see you before I leave. I'm really anxious to find out what you've decided to do. Whether you're going to stay in this town, or go back to the city, or do something else entirely. And I'm going to be forward, as you know I always am. I'd like to know if little old me figures into those plans, somehow. So, anyway, I'll see you there, yeah? Love, Angie. <laughs> 